What's up? This is Squad2448 with Video. Today we are playing Gold Rush the game and we'll be setting up a new wash plan for the mining company. We are already here at the warehouse, so we'll be taking a look at the journal, seeing exactly what we do need to purchase. Looks like we need a wash plant, water pump, generator, and a few other things like that, which is pretty cool. Then we'll be heading over to the large equipment dealer to buy an excavator, which should be pretty cool. You guys can see we do have the old work truck already here which will be very helpful so we'll kind of walk into this store and we'll kind of go step by step through everything and it looks like we need this mobile wash plant very cool wash plant yep so we'll kind of come over here we'll add this to the cart and you guys can see thirteen thousand dollars that is a lot of money right there so we'll definitely have to kind of come and look at the journal many times it looks like we need a pump a mobile generator and we also need cables and hoses so we do need a lot of things so we'll kind of come over here and get the mobile uh, we do need the mobile generator kind of come over here add one of these to the cart and I believe that we also do need a water pump so we'll just kind of double check make sure that we do need the small one because I do not want to have to keep coming back and it looks like we do need a water pump small that's good then we need one of those tables also so we do need a lot of things today we might have to take two trips and we need the uh, separators. So we'll get one of these. And you guys can see we are spending a lot of money today, which is okay. So we got all of those. Next up, we do have to find the uh, power also. So we do need, I would say, water hose. We'll just kind of double check with the journal. And I believe that we do need a water hose. So we do need uh, cables, hoses. Yep, so we do need those. We'll kind of add one of these to a cart. And then we will, once again, I think we'll probably get some gas since uh, we do need it for the gas generator. We got that. And next up, we do need the power cables. Kind of come over here, get one of these. And I think we need just around three buckets. We'll kind of come over here, get all three buckets. And I'm very excited for featuring Gold Russia game here on the channel. You guys can see... $15,000 worth of uh, equipment we are buying. That is a lot of money. So as you guys can see, let's kind of see where our uh, trailer is. The trailer is right over here, which is pretty cool, but we'll have to load up all of this. So this is a lot to load up. So we'll kind of uh, select this, and hopefully we could fill up this truck completely and not really run into any problems. But I think we'll kind of start off kind of loading up the uh, large things first. It might help us out here since we do have to uh, fill this truck completely. So we'll kind of hop in the back of the truck. Looks like uh, we can't because the tailgate kind of went down. But we are kind of in here. We'll kind of bring this all the way. That actually looks like the furthest we'll be able to do with that. We'll kind of hop in the water pump. We'll be loading this up. And then we'll just have to kind of keep piling everything on top. I really do like though that the truck does have sides that's going to be very helpful so we'll kind of close the tailgate it does not even want to close there's so much gear in the back so we'll definitely have to give this a try see can we hop up here and kind of move that so that looks like that's going to be the best it is this one we'll kind of have to just put on top that looks to be good we we'll closing up the tailgate since uh, we want to be able to close that and make sure everything is secure but we'll be loading that in Wow a few more buckets and the gas tank and I would like to thank each and every one of you for the continued support on the daily content. A lot of you guys are really liking this game, which is pretty cool. Very exciting game to feature since we do do a lot of gold mining. So we'll do these last few buckets. We do actually have a bucket already at the job site, at the mining site, which is also pretty nice. And I did actually add in money just so that uh, we could continue on with the videos and not take too much time. So I will kind of, uh, I will finish loading the truck and we'll catch you back. As you guys can see, we do have all the gear loaded up into the back of the truck. So next up, we'll kind of be walking over, hopping into the truck. We'll be uh, turning off the e-brake and we'll be attaching to that mobile uh, wash plant, which is pretty cool. I really do like how the game is set up. Very nicely done. And I'm also very excited for doing some maybe large-scale mining, if you would so call it. It's going to be pretty cool. So we'll kind of uh, back up and attach to this. Wow, we will be bringing a lot of materials with us. We'll kind of back up not exactly sure how we will attach but we'll definitely give it a try awesome so we are here next up we'll kind of go to the controls really fast just to double check on how we do attach 
Awesome, so as you guys can see, you do have to hop out, get that attached. So before we make our way over to the mining site, we'll be coming back here to the journal, and we need to go to the uh, heavy equipment store. So we'll kind of go over here to the map, and it looks like it's right actually on the way, which is pretty helpful for us. We do not have to kind of go out of our way to kind of go get that, which is pretty cool. So we'll be turning the e-brake off, and we'll be heading out here, but you guys can see fully loaded with a lot of mining gear, and like, I would say $15,000 worth of gear. That's a lot of money that we are putting into a mining company to get it started. We'll be turning over here, and you guys can see I really do like this a lot. Pretty cool setup, and it looks like it's right over there, so we won't, we should have actually taken that street. That's fine. We'll just kind of park on the side over here and kind of walk over, and that's fine. Just a little bit of walking, and that's no problem. If you guys would like to see more mining videos, let me know down below in the comments. I really do like this a lot. It's a very cool game, and it's very exciting being able to do different things. So it looks like the small excavator is right over here. We'll kind of walk over. It looks like we could get a few bulldozers and front loaders maybe later on. We'll kind of come over here, and we want one 28000 and adding in the money was very helpful. We'll be able to get this no problem. So we'll kind of walk over here to the checkout and uh, I believe that they will deliver it for us which is pretty cool looks like we did order it so they'll be delivering that and we'll be making our way over to the mining site we have arrived here at our mining claim. You guys did see in the last video, we did set up a pretty small wash plant and we used our shovel, but now we are going very large with the excavator and everything like that, which is pretty cool. So we'll kind of go find the excavator, kind of see where that exactly is at. And I don't really see it, which is a little interesting. I thought that it would already be here. Hopefully we did order it and we do not have to kind of go back and order a different one. But we'll kind of have to take a look where exactly do we set up the wash plant uh, that will be a great question but we do need to set up kind of near uh, I would say water because we do need the water for the plant so we'll kind of bring it right over here and let's kind of see looks like I do not really see the excavator which is very interesting we'll have to kind of get out here and take a look looks like our truck is rolling we'll have to turn on the e-brake just to make sure it does not keep rolling and we do actually have to find a water source nearby so let's kind of take a look looks like there's really no water source kind of close by so we might have to kind of run it from our other section over there which is going to be okay if we do have to but we'll kind of uh, come take a look Alright, so we'll be moving just a little bit closer to the water source since it's going to be a very long hose. I think we'll kind of just kind of position it right up here at the top of this hill. That looks to be good. It's a little bit closer than what we did have it. So we'll kind of hop out here. We'll be disconnecting the wash plant, making it a little bit easier for us. And it looks like the truck just continues to roll. That's because we forgot to kind of put the e-brake on. So it looks good. Now I really want to keep this organized, very nice looking uh, mining operations. We'll kind of pick this one up and this is the power so let's kind of see which side do we have to put the power on so it looks like the power is right over here so I think we'll kind of put that right about there next up we'll kind of get the water hose we'll kind of just leave this kind of on the side but we are definitely using that but we might actually have to go get another power hose and I also believe that we have to go set up transportation for that excavator so we'll definitely have to go do that so we'll kind of place this down and let's see how do we exactly it looks like we could use one in there and then the other end will be plugging right into the wash plant so we got one power in which is perfect you guys can see it's right next to each other which is perfect I really do like that next up we'll kind of be uh, grabbing the uh, water pump I think let's kind of see where the water needs to go and that looks to be good now it looks like we will have to go get a few more gas tanks which is also okay and we'll kind of have to see it looks like we will definitely have to kind of go get uh, more but let's take a look at which one do we place this in now I'm definitely still learning this game I really do enjoy it it's very nicely done so it looks like you guys can see not exactly sure where we have to go with this it looks like uh, we can't really uh, put this one in here so this one actually has to go in there then this one it goes into the wash plant someplace 
So I think we'll probably just leave the hose right over there. Now this machine, I really would like to kind of bring to our uh, area. And it looks like those buckets did not kind of stay in the truck, which is a little interesting. We'll kind of put some gas in here. It looks like we will be having to go back into the town. It looks like the fuel tank is empty. So we actually have to go fill this up with gas. So we have to go do this and go get those buckets. And while we are down there, we'll definitely kind of go get the other few things like the buckets. And we'll also place the oil order for transportation so we could have it over here and looks like we need another hose line and a few other things like that so we'll kind of make our way up to the tent and we'll be placing this into the tent I really would like it over there since uh, I really want like a wash area for the tent and kind of a pretty nice area to kind of uh, get the gold at in pretty cool area so we'll kind of uh, put the e-brake on uh, we'll be unloading this right here and then like I was saying we actually do also have to go to gas stations We do have a few other things we have to do today And I think we'll probably kind of place that down right about there and we'll make our way back into the town We made it back to the town so we'll first kind of stop over here at the uh, machine company We'll just kind of schedule the transportation since it looks like we do have to do that That's one thing that we did forget to do so we'll kind of come over here and it looks like we do need to uh kind of bring the small excavator let's kind of move it over there and confirm it so it looks like they'll be transporting that for us which should be pretty helpful next we'll kind of hop back in the truck we'll pretty much turn around no need to really back up into the street but I really do like this area it looks like we will be coming back here to get probably our new wash plant maybe in a week or so which should be pretty cool so we'll kind of head back over here we do have to go to the gas station but I think we'll kind of first get those uh five gallon buckets and I do believe that I did load them up so that's pretty interesting they could have like fallen through the truck but let's take a look exactly where they are so I do not see them they could have even fallen out kind of on the way but that is definitely interesting even though I had them loaded up they are not in there so it looks like the truck is going to roll and yeah so it looks like it is going to roll so we definitely have to turn it on I do have to get into the habit of doing that so we'll kind of come over here we do need one more hose and one more power so we'll kind of get one of these and twenty dollars is not that bad so we'll get one of those and it's uh looks like we need i would say we don't really need that yet but let's see next up we also do need the power so we we have to find that which is down here power and then this one is the rope so this is definitely it so we need one more power and then we do need the attachment for the end uh, of it so we also do need a few more gas tanks we'll probably get two of these and then like we're saying we will have to find that extra piece for the uh, end of the hose it looks like I'm unable to find that attachment so we'll just kind of get what we do have we'll kind of come over here we'll check out and it looks like $70 so that's actually a lot of money we are spending today getting this new operation all set up which should be pretty cool and we did forget the five gallon bucket so we'll kind of have to come over here and we'll have to reload these back on and that is a little frustrating not exactly sure where our money went buying those because we did load them up to the truck and uh, they just do not show anymore so we'll buy these and and uh, we have everything we need, so we're going to load everything up. As we are loading them up, you guys can see that we actually had a gas tank in the back of the truck. And it looks like that is now gone. So it looks like, uh, I would say, a few materials are falling out, which is frustrating. I do not see it underneath the truck. So maybe on the way back over to our mining site, I will be looking along the roadway, seeing if any of it is there. And if it is, we'll definitely have to stop and get it. Since we did pay for it, we do not want to lose any of it, since all of this is a lot of money. And we do have to stop by the gas station before we kind of make our way over. Looks like we can't really reach over the sides. I mean, those are pretty high sides on the truck. Awesome, so this is the last one. We'll kind of use the tailgate since we cannot really reach into the back of the bed too, too far. So we'll just kind of use this and it looks like it's still not able to close. So we'll kind of have to hop in here, kind of push everything in. Now it should close. Awesome. We'll be making our way over to the gas station, which I think is just around the corner. And then we'll kind of uh, definitely look to be 
because I really want to get those even if uh, it is a long roadway because we do spend a lot of money on all of it. So we'll kind of make our way over here. The gas station, I believe, is just down the road. I can see the sign already, and it looks like we do have to fill these up. So I'm definitely learning the game as we go. But like I was saying, let me know if we should be doing more mining videos. We arrived here at the gas station. Looks like we actually could get fuel for this truck also. So we'll definitely kind of turn it off. And we actually do need to turn it off to fill it up. And we got this turned off. Next up, let's see if we could fill this up. So we'll kind of use this. Let's see. We'll use this and I believe that we could put it in. Awesome. So we are filling it up. Let's see how much gallons we could get. So we'll just get as much gallons as we do need. And we'll just refuel. Awesome, so it looks like we were able to do that, which is perfect. Next up, we'll kind of come over here, get these gas cans, because we do need to fill these up. And it looks like we only have two. And a bucket did fall out, so we'll have to kind of load this one back in. Overall, this game is very nice. There are a few uh, errors, a few things that do need to be worked out, but pretty cool game and uh, very exciting. So we'll kind of come back over here. We do have to pick up the hose that we did drop, and once we pick it up, we'll kind of bring it back around, and looks like we have to go all the way around. This hose is definitely uh, going to get stretched. We'll, we'll kind of use it, fill it up all the way. And it looks like this only holds just around 20 gallons. That is actually a lot, a lot. So, I mean, that's perfect. Next up, we'll kind of come over here, fill this gas can up, and do 20 gallons also. And gas is 203 so that's actually pretty decent pricing. I really do like it a lot. We'll just kind of drop that down. We'll be loading this in, and then we'll be making our way back over to the mining site. We're arriving back here at the mining site, and you guys can see they did deliver the excavator for us, which is very helpful. We'll probably drive that over maybe at the end of today, but we'll kind of make our way back over here, and we might be able to run just a little bit of dirt, but I think today the main thing is kind of just setting up the entire wash plant area since it's pretty busy, and and I can actually see that the bucket is way over here, so that's a little interesting. It looks like it could have fallen out, and I mean, we went all the way back and bought more buckets, and it looks like the buckets just do like to fall out, which is interesting. We do just kind of learn as we do go here, so we'll definitely have to kind of remember that as they will just kind of fall. So we'll kind of place that right about there. It looks like we'll just kind of keep that there. It looks like this also got disconnected, so we'll have to attach that. Next up, we'll kind of open this up. And let's see, can we open this first? Awesome, so we got this. Next up, we'll kind of uh, put it in to this again. And then the other end, we will be placing into the generator. Let's see, looks like this one is actually gas. So we do not need this at the moment, which is okay. We'll kind of just leave that there. Maybe we will need it again. So this one we'll be placing, I would say, right about here. That's good. And then this... I'm not exactly sure where we do place this, but we'll just kind of take one last look at it and not exactly sure, but uh, I mean, we're definitely going to have to learn off camera, but we'll kind of uh, get the gas can and we'll kind of just fill up. So we'll kind of place that here and take a look at that guys. So we are filling up. Looks like uh, that's going to be perfect for fuel wise and uh, just at uh, almost 100%. Awesome, so we have to kind of get the gas can. It looks like there might be a little bit left in here, but we'll definitely kind of use it all up if we can. It looks like uh, it's going to fill this one up also, which is pretty cool. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video setting up the new wash plan. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and subscribe for more.